Hi everyone, today I'm gonna be opening my Tokyo Treat box. And I got the May box. When I ordered this, they did not offer the two to five day DHL shipping, which is why mine came late. Now they have it, so if you wanna get one, it'll come faster. Oh my gosh, it looks so fun! So this little booklet thing, it has what is in the box. And I got the premium box, which is recommended on their site. These are Sakura Sake Kit Kats. The ultimate Japanese spring party snack. Gentle automatic Sakura cream is sandwiched between wafers wrapped in sake chocolate for an elegant and unique Kit Kat experience. Aww, they come in cute little individual packages. Mmm, it smells, it smells good. Here's what it looks like. It tastes like a flower. <laughs> I feel like I'm eating a plant. It's like what I imagine cherry blossoms to taste like. It's very interesting. It feels like I'm, I'm eating perfume. It smelled and it tasted like flowers. It was pretty powerful. I think it's kind of rich for me. Like I definitely don't want to eat another one anytime soon. Like that that hit the spot. It's amazing how rich that Kit Kat was. Next, it's Mike Popcorn Soy Sauce and Butter Flavor. So Mike Popcorn is Japan's number one popcorn and a super popular party snack. The creamy Hokkaido butter blends beautifully with the soy sauce accent, a truly Japanese flavor combo. Mm. It just smells like popcorn. Oh wow, it's so salty, it's addicting. I definitely taste the soy sauce. It like literally tastes like when you put soy sauce on rice or anything, like it just tastes so good. It's really addicting. I could literally finish this bag if I wanted to. I'm gonna save some though and finish what's in the box first. <laughs> this is the Hello Kitty Sakura, I don't even know if I'm saying that right, candy. Hello Kitty is here to share some Japanese springtime goodness. Inside the cute Hello Kitty packaging, you'll find three flavors of cherry blossom shaped candy, orange, cherry, and apple, and every package has a fortune. Check out our social media for a breakdown of the fortunes. It's really cute packaging. My inner child loves it. So that's about how many come in there. I picked out the three flavors that come in there. I'm gonna try this reddish one first. It's like kind of clear. Mm, this is apple one. I think the apple one tasted good. Now I'm gonna try this orange one. This one tastes really good to me. Next is this pink one, which is gonna be the cherry one. I actually like this flavor. It tastes like a cherry cola. That's cool though, because usually cherry flavors are kind of nasty, but that was a good cherry flavor. This is Choco Taro, and I'm not sure if I said that right. Want some crunch in your snack? Choco Taro has crunch nut surprise inside its light corn and chocolatey goodness. Add some bite to your party with Choco Taro. I don't know if I said that right. You know, I'm not 100% in Japanese. It smells so good, it smells chocolatey. Here's what it looks like. This is what the inside looks like. It kind of looks like a wafer. It tastes like coffee and chocolate. It tastes like ice cream. It tasted like Jamoka almond fudge ice cream to me. Man, that was good. So the next one I'm, I'm going to try is this burger gummy. This fun treat might look like a burger, but give it a try and you'll be in for a sweet surprise. You can enjoy this gummy burger shaped snack without even ordering takeout. I wanted to try this next because this is something that I like used to get as a kid. Like those gumball machines at the mall. It was really good. It's not too sour. You know, sour gummies kind of get like too sour and it feels like you're cutting your tongue. It's like 
the right amount of sour. I think it's just not super exciting to me because it's something that I've had before, but it was cool that it was a sour candy because I haven't had a sour gummy burger before. Oh my gosh, another thing I'm probably gonna say wrong. Umaibo Pollock. So this is a classic Japanese treat. The Pollock flavor of Umaibo is a classic childhood favorite for many Japanese people and is a super popular seafood flavored treat. It sounds so interesting. It smells like fish food to me. Here's kind of what it looks like. I broke it off of a, a longer tube. So just imagine a big Cheeto cheese puff in that wrapper. That was so good. Oh my gosh, it was like barbecued fish or something. It was so good. <laughs> I think it's two thumbs up for me. This is Ramun or Ramune candies. I'm not sure how to say it. And it makes for the perfect party drink. We wanted to bring you some mini fizzy soda candy for your party. They come in one of five flavors, strawberry, grape, orange, lemon, and melon. So it looks like we got strawberry. Yup, strawberry. These little tabs just like melt in your mouth and this is kind of like a candy I've had before too but I love these yeah it just melted in my mouth and it's like you could just literally finish those in like less than two minutes maybe these are taro beans Japanese traditional snacks are perfect for hanami these tasty, crunchy, and salty crackers feature a cute traditional folktale character, Momo Taro, the peach boy on the packet. This is what the inside looks like. It was so good. <laughs> it like kind of tasted like cereal at first, then it got like a different flavor to it. Wait, I need another one. I don't know what that taste is. It tastes good to me though. That was cool. These are cabbage chips. These crunchy but light corn snacks taste like a Japanese festival with their tasty cabbage flavor with very saucy accents. We think you'll be snacking nonstop. Let's see about that. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, this smells so good. They look like this little. Oh my god. That was so good so fluffy and then it just melted away. That was good. These are chicken ramen snacks. Did you know Japanese people like to eat ramen after a party? Well, you can eat this ramen during a party too. These crunchy dried noodles are an addictive chicken ramen flavored snack. I'm so excited. I love ramen. They're like little pieces of ramen. That was good. That's something you have to like grab a bunch of and then stick in your mouth. I only grab like three pieces, but it was good. Sakura Matcha Colin, I think. Oh, it's double sided. Okay. Taste Japanese spring in this petite limited edition crunchy treat. Using Japan grown cherry blossom in its creamy filling, fragrant cream is wrapped inside a bittersweet matcha waffle. So excited! It comes in this little pouch. Oh my god, it smells so good. Like I didn't even open it all the way. <laughs> Here's what it looks. It kind of looks like a dog treat. <laughs> hmm. It tastes like a flower to me. It was weird. It was like the crunch. It was a crunchy outside, and then it was just like mush on the inside. It was an interesting texture in my mouth. It's a very interesting flavor. It's really sweet. So I got this box because we wanted to try Sakura because we watched, she goes by Charmeleon or Charlotte in Japan. And she's always talking about this flavor, Sakura. And it's just like, I don't know, it's pretty interesting. It's cherry blossom and it's flowery, but it's not like perfume or anything. But it's an interesting taste that I've never had before. But I don't know, it's kind of cool. Like now I know what she's talking about when she brings up Sakura. Next, Sakura Mochi Chocolate. This limited edition popular spring chocolate is back. Chewy Mochi wrapped in Sakura 
and red bean chocolate with a light salt accent for a true sakura mochi experience perfect for sharing oh how neat okay so they come in these little wrappers It came with seven. Oh my gosh, it smells so sweet. Here's what it looks like. Oh, what the heck? It was so strange. That was so crazy. That was. It tastes like a red bean bun, but sweeter. And like the texture when you bit into it is like chewy, like mochi. Oh, it's so weird. That was an interesting experience right there. But I liked it. That was really good. These are Senkaku crackers vegetable flavor. Mini crunchy crackers with veggie flavors? Yes, please. These triangle cracker treats make for a great salty sharing snack while watching cherry blossoms at a picnic. They come in this little rack. These are so good. Why is everything so good? Usually there's something I don't like. These were good. Next, I'm gonna try this little thing. This is apple jelly. In this cute little cup, you'll find apple jelly. This sweet apple snack is a hard jelly with a vivid green color. Nothing says party like jelly. Hope my mouth doesn't turn green. <laughs> <laughs> it was like juicy and then it like wasn't coming out so I just suck it out of the cup. <laughs> that was probably so awkward to look at. <laughs> oh well. Is my mouth green? No. That was cool. Juicy apple flavor. Ham and potato porky. Porky are snack sticks perfect for sharing and munching with friends. Crunchy and savory, their ham and potato flavor is so good. On second thought, maybe we won't share this one. Oh, if you guys can really see. They come in this little tray. Mmm. These remind me of those little those little packets of like these sticks that you would dip in the cheese. <laughs> it tastes just like that. Like it it, it actually tastes like a lunchable. It's weird, but it's so good. <laughs> that was like a throwback for me. Tasted just like those little snacks. These are Nissin Sakura or Matcha Coconut Cookies. So these are the Matcha Coconut Cookies because we didn't get the pink pack. Crispy and crunchy, these sweet coconut cookies are a Japanese treat, perfect for sharing. They have added elements of Sakura or Matcha for an added boost of Japanese spring flavor. So this is the Matcha one. How cute! can come in these little packets and you can feel like there's a bunch of little crackers in there. So there's four total. Mm. Look at it sparkle. Just kidding. <laughs> Here's the other side. Smell like matcha. I don't know. It's a weird flavor. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I don't have too much of matcha stuff because it's not like my favorite flavor in the world they're okay to me so this is frozen coca-cola lemon frozen coke this frosty treat is back and perfect for a party let it freeze squeeze the pack and enjoy a frosty coke easy to hold this coke with a fruity lemon twist is perfect for a picnic so i'm gonna freeze this and then i'm going to try it later i'll let you guys know how it tastes because it's obviously not frozen right now. I literally just took it out of the box. And then this is the last thing, which isn't even on here. It's a bonus candy. And it says Haichu on this bottom right corner, which is awesome because I love Haichu. So I'm not sure what, it, what else it says, but I'm going to try it. Well, because this bag comes with a zipper because they're all just like in there open. Like, this is what it looks like. It tasted like peach. It was good. That was a cool bonus. And we got all this stuff and a bonus candy. Like, what? All right, I'm going to freeze this for a little bit. And then I'm going to come back and then let you know how it tastes. And we'll end with this. All right, it's been a couple hours and just 
felt it. It just feels kind of slushy like now. Pistol <laughs> pump. That's kind of what it looks like. Coming out of the tooth. It definitely tastes like lemon. It's kind of an addicting taste. It's not like completely slushy, but um, I might put it back in the freezer just so I get complete slushiness. But I like it. It's good. All right, so that was it for the Tokyo Treat box for May. It was really worth it. Like, honestly, we got so many snacks and we got bonus candy. I think it was really cool. And plus, if like you're someone who wants to know what kind of stuff is in Japan, this is a cool box to see what kind of snacks they have. And they come up with new things every month. It's a subscription, so if you want to try it, you should because like everything in that box is good also i am going to link tokyo treat down below in the description box in case you were like well i just want the link to this website so i can check it out so if you enjoyed watching this video make sure you give it a thumbs up if you're new be sure to subscribe and click the bell because i'm always trying new things so you never know what i'm going to try next thanks for watching this vlog see you next time